twisted koi and you Martin sees koi pond and aquatics how are we doing out there cupcakes well it's Friday afternoon just but what a fucking day so far already <laughs> I guess woken up by the boy at 8 o'clock this morning what's that he said your, your filter is overflowing which filter I've got fucking loads the multi bay one Where's the pump switch? It's the second switch in on the box. I said, failing that, just pull the fucking, the jack mat out. That'll sort it till I get up. I get it up about half hour or so later. Comes down. Comes down to find four inches of water in the bottom of my fucking IBC tank. Oh my word. So yeah, spent most of the morning trickle feeding in to top up the IBC tank again. So, yep, getting rid of the bits of blanket weed it really helped because all the shit came flying through and, uh, yep, blocked up me bit of uh, matting. So, what I think I'm going to do is if I lay that flat, like that, it will still catch the shit. But once it gets to a certain point, it's just going to bypass straight over there into there. Should have done that in the first place, Vincent, you dick. I know, I know. I tell you what. When I put things together, I don't even think about, ever think about taking them apart. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent 20 minutes so far, and I'm only just about halfway along the front wall of this pond taking fucking staples out. So, yeah, staples are coming out. I've missed one there. Staples are coming out because we're going to have to take this board off and then we're going to remove the triangle that's underneath it and then we're going to pull the liner nice and tight especially in this corner here to try and get rid of or eliminate this fold here a little bit better I'm not sure how I'm going to do that one yet it's not massively bad compared to this one but I might be able to manipulate that around this way and then fold it here instead I can't really take the triangles off of this one because it'll mean disturbing that corner and we as, as we all know the liner down in that corner is deteriorating and you can see by the difference in colour is it patch right in the corner there when the water settles back out there we go so yeah so that's where we're at at the moment this morning I've got bottom drain easy pods on its second boil I've then got to put the grown on tank easy pod on for a boil because that water has gone a little bit cloudy after the Malachi green formalin went in yesterday so so that's one, two, three. So they'll get a second dose on Sunday. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So once I've pulled a few more staples, I'll pick you back up again. I always gotta start singing Bruce Springsteen then, because that's literally who's just stopped as I press record. <laughs> but I'm getting there slowly. I'm gonna have to use the breaker bar, or the crowbar, which I've bent straight almost I don't put things together from the front to come apart well not easily anyway that's for fucking sure uh, but yeah I'm about halfway uh, halfway through and I, a lot of people ask me what my pond is actually built out of I'll check that out later Stubbsy Stubbs Aquatics go across give Chris a like get into 2000 uh, get into 2000 subscribers let's get in there yeah He's a good mate of mine, I talk to him regularly, uh, even though he lives in Canada. It's not his fault. A major fucking hailstorm the other day and damaged stuff, it was that bad. He did put a bit of short out on it. Uh, but yeah, let me spin you around. So, what's coming out is this bit of wood. Hang on, zoom you out, is this bit of wood. And then underneath that bit of wood is a triangle of foam. So that's coming out as well. That way I can pull it tight. And pull that fold there tight. I might even be able to 
undo that fold, bring it round and pull it tight over here to get rid of these two folds here and a little bit over there around the skimmer. And like I say, I didn't touch uh, this, this wall because of that corner. But what you've got here is industrial walling. And it was given to me by uh, Mark Davis from Cuttlebrook Koi Farm. And basically what it is, you know when they make these industrial buildings and they uh, they slot the walls together, well that's exactly what my palm walls are made out of. So you've got a thin piece of metal, four inches of, uh, or I think that might even be three inches of Celotex, and then another layer of metal. And then what happens is, it interlocks together, which I filled the interlocks with uh, expanding foam, screwed them together, and then on the outside, framework in and the decking and yes there is a little bit of a bow there but I'm not worried and uh, this is why I'm taking my time getting this top beam out because what I want to do is I want to put that top beam in across there so yes that's where we're at so yeah plodding along nicely Bottom drain's just been finished cleaning, so skimmer's off now. They're expecting food, but they ain't going to get none because this is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I'm having to uh, peel the edge apart, find a screw, cut the screw with angle grinder because I want to keep this piece of wood so I can screw it on the front. So it's softly, softly, catch the monkey. We'll go all the way along. We'll get this piece of wood off, and then we'll take the, uh, the triangles out, and then we'll start pulling everything tight once I've cleaned off screws and Christ knows what else is sticking out everywhere where heads have sheared and stuff but yeah four or five years ago I'd have probably had this fucking done and finished by now but <laughs> hey it is what it is isn't it anyway I'm going to stop flapping my gums and I'm going to put you lot down and I'm going to go back to my born in the USA born down in a dead man's town no? ok then I'll just give me fried chicken what song was it? in the comments <laughs> well I am pretty pleased to be honest even though it's a major fold and it's been a major fucking bugbear of mine for ages when I open it up look there ain't no shit in there look no shit in there at all so what we do is we pull that one nice and tight you know we like them tight and all that there we go bye bye one fold now I am going to unpin this bit here and see if I can get this fold to fold this way thus eliminating that fold even though it's not a big one and it's not so much a pain in my ass as this one is but this one is now done so I can stretch the rest of this lot out but like I said I'm going to have to undo that and see if I can manipulate that round to this corner and then bang another bit of deck in on there clean that down put that on there so I can then put my stones back on temporarily but I to be honest I think it's going to be a uh, an electric decking going across there and uh, I'll slowly make my way round but like I say I really don't want to you can see it extreme close up see that fold there but There are we. See where the Hiatsuri is there. Just slightly to the left there, exactly where that Akamatsuba is. That's where the liner deterioration is. So, yeah, I don't want to be fucking around with that corner and ended up making, me, making myself a problem that I don't fucking need right at this moment in time. So I will just stick with doing a zip front wall. I am pleased with it because there is absolutely zero shit in there which was absolutely fucking bob on anyway 
I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be doing no fucking work for the next couple of days because my hands are already fucking screwing at me. But hey, sometimes this shit has got to be done, isn't it? So uh, onwards we go. <laughs> well, well, well. It's uh, quarter to eight, and I've just got the last of the the liner pulled tight on this front edge and clipped down. And and I've got the corner folded round a bit better where I've got a little crease as opposed to a fold at the moment but the more I stand here and look across the pond one, the, the front edge now being uh, taken down and thinned out has actually made the pond look bigger uh, now, now I've done this on both ends here and got them nice and tight I now keep looking across there and seeing that crease and thinking, no, it's got to go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the last bit of line that I've got that was along, along the front. I'll get that all stapled in. I'll get tidied up and then we'll have a look. I'm not going to top the pond back up, but what I am going to do is I am going to uh, do another clean and a dump on the Easy Pods tomorrow, which will drop the level down again, which means by rights I should be able to get in there in the waders then, and I should be able to do that without any uh, issues over there. I haven't put the uh, bit of wood across the front because I actually quite like the way it's looking at the moment and just get some decking to go over the top. I've started filling in gaps and stuff. I know I'm going to have to get into... Uh, let me spin you around. I know I'm going to have to get into this area here. Don't dunk. I had that sat on the side and I'm cutting a piece of piece of wood. I had that sat on the side, it was there, cutting a piece of wood and it moved and that dunked in the pond and I managed to fucking get it out and shake the water out of it before it went pop. So yeah, that was a little bit of excitement. Luckily enough, I didn't get shot at 240. But yeah, I've got this bit filled in. So my pot can sit nice and stable. And what I've got to do is I've got to get in here with the multi-tool and level that off. I'll be able to pull this out then. And then I can look at getting a couple of bits of decking across there. Now, the thing is, if I do this end, that means that uh, if that comes out intact, I've got a length of deck in there that I'm going to have to cut down to sort of like this sort of size to go on there just to make sure everything's the same height and then I'll have to staple straight to there. But I think I will gain some deck in as long as it comes out nice and tidy, but again, I'm dubious about touching that back wall because it's got a, got a nice little bow in it as well. So, yeah. These are all uh, ferreting for some food, but they can wait until I've had a, a bit of a tidy up because, as, it, as you can see, it looks like Steptoe's yard. And their first priority tomorrow will be to get her out and get a salt bath. In fact, I still I might still do that today, actually. But yeah, as you can see, I've got more of a, a crease than a fold there. This one's completely flat now. And uh, yeah, so it's a case of I'm gonna have to take that lot out and then pull out all the foam and everything that's on there. Then I can just pull it, staple it, cut it, and leaving that where it should be because uh, this 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 was easier than i thought it was going to be doing uh, this one here but uh, it does make a difference you're not really going to notice much and uh until i'm finished finished but it definitely looks different and uh, if anyone wants these uh, natural stone slabs <laughs> Let me know. There's one, two, three, four, four and a bit there, and two half bits there. You'll have to come and get them because I have fucking posting them. 
so but yeah they're not going to go back on here uh, like so I'm going to put decking around the top now I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint the decking because it's not going to be black uh, that was why we put the stone on because the black you couldn't touch it in the summer well stone got even hotter than the black painted wood so I might end up painting it red just to offset it from the uh, the black and white that's everywhere else the mind your own business has really started to take off now starting to look like it did last year well getting there uh, moss is working well and the, the stuff that Jigsy gave me that I put on the little ledges is all uh, all taken so way extreme close up you see that little bit on the ledge there that came from the bit and then as you come up see the little bits in the ledges put some down this side as well Yeah. So yeah, that's I'm well well chopped out, but I will be building some kind of uh, cover to go over it over the winter because um, the whole plan is to keep it as one thing on there so that I don't have to keep looking at them horrible boxes. And it, to be honest, totally honest, it wouldn't matter if it was horrible boxes or apex piece of shit I mean almost at the point where I can't see it which is good the moss is starting to come back because I am slowly uh, water changing it out of the system that's what rocket boy didn't bring with me he didn't bring fucking salt pen so I could have checked but yeah that will get another another top up tomorrow I'm just doing a daily uh, drop and top up like I do with the uh, the old growing on tank and uh, yeah but the the moss is starting to come back see it's starting to green back up but yeah that one is absolutely pinned in place but the, uh, the old moss really didn't like the salt that went in here, but the mind your own business, has, it hasn't fucking bothered the mind your own business at all. In fact, the mind your own business is uh, taking over the, the, the sideshow twisted plant. So, uh, yeah, well, I keep sort of like feeding because I want it, don't want it over dangling. So, yeah, I'm. That's it, go up that way and then that will grow round it. But yeah, this one's getting plenty of, plenty of water from uh, the drips that come from the, uh, the mind your own business and the moss because that's what I've one thing I've found with the moss if there's moisture there, it will grow, if not, it will just go dry and crispy. But yeah, as long as there's any type of moisture, I mean, look, where the, where the drips come out of there, it's now starting to uh, grow around there. And uh, I haven't looked in here for a long while, but we can... Uh, look at that, that meat, it looks lovely and clean. What's that stuck in there? Yeah, look at that, lovely. Just what you want from your shower media. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that doesn't get touched. And uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's only a having three thousand. I think it's over three thousand five hundred liters an hour, or three thousand six hundred liters an hour going through it but once I get down to piles and ch changes pipe work again uh, <laughs> I'll be coming back with my old uh, J-Bow Speed that was originally on this tank 
and it's 10,000 uh, litre an hour Vrio flow like I've got in the running both the bottom drain and the skimmer and we will start charging some uh, some flow back over the shower again so yeah can't wait for that one so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my finger out and have a bit of a fucking tidy up and then uh, we'll say oh bruh Salut for the for the for the day. Hell. Well, ladies and gentle cups, it's now uh, twenty past eight. Everywhere's looking nice and tidy, ready for the next day. These want some food, so we uh, stomp on that one. We flip that one off. The old Mega Munga mix, and uh, Ricky did put out a message. Um, he is going to be uh, bagging it now, and it will be a 500 gram bag. Can't remember the price. I think it was 20 quid. I will double check, and I will put it back in there. Uh, we still got to uh, work out whether we. Whether you get it from, uh, well, you're gonna have to get it from uh, the the shop, but you're gonna have to put it on the uh, the website, methinks. But yeah, trust me, they go absolutely batty for it. Oh, and while I'm uh, while I'm while I'm flapping my gums, I had my best my best mate Brad here, and I I chucked a handful of uh, food on the surface, and then I chucked. A couple of handfuls of uh, this sinking food here that I'm uh, I'm feeding the fry, real fine. I said, watch this, and literally I chucked in a couple of handfuls, and literally three quarters of the pond changed change their direction from the top to the bottom and they did not come up from that bottom until the bottom was clean and they then came up and uh, took the floating stuff off the top and when you see see Big Betty hoovering up that really really fine pellet <laughs> yeah but yeah they were down there for fucking ages just hoovering it all up and that but yeah don't knock it till you've tried it. So yeah, so that's me and the babies. We're all done for today. So as always folks, I'm interested Corey. You lot out there are always great and we will catch you for the weekend waffling. That's all cupcakes.